Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been forever since I did a wash day video so that's exactly what we're going to do today. Just want to take a minute to say welcome if you're new here and welcome back to all the returning subbies. All right so let's just get into it. Um, it's been about two weeks. Yeah I know since I washed my hair so that means I need to do a little rehab solve and we're going to use none other than Curl Smith. I really really love this stuff. I mean if I had to choose what my favorite product is on the protein line, which is the purple one, is definitely the solve. I just came back from the gym. I am pumped. I did three days straight in the gym, y'all. Three days straight. I'm so proud of myself. It's been a really long time since I've been in the gym, number one. Um, so for me to get in three days consecutively, that's just awesome. So I'm not sure if you guys have used this product before, but if you have not, what you're supposed to do is completely wet your hair. You cannot put it on dry hair, so you want to get it really, really saturated. It doesn't say it has to be dripping, but it does have to be, um, you know, really, really wet. I guess that's the way that the solve works. I guess it bonds, you know, better to, to wet hair. So you put this in, and then you let it sit for a minimum of 15 minutes, maximum one hour. It does not say that you have to apply heat to it, so I do not put any heat on it. I just put a shower cap on and just kind of, like, chill out for a little bit. That's what we're going to do. And then you just shampoo and conditioner, you know, as you normally would. Nothing fancy. And I think I want to try the other line from Curl Smith, the, um, the orange label. I think that's the moisture line because, you know, with the summer months, your hair can get a little dry. I'm noticing that with mine, especially with me skipping wash days. I'm supposed to wash once a week, but I've been kind of like, you know, flaking on that because I just have a lot of stuff that's going on right now. So um, anytime I can put in some extra moisture to my hair, that's good. So that might be wet enough to at least just part it. Oh, it is so sticky. Yo, I got so much gel up here. You don't listen. That's all right. We're going to get it together. We're going to get it together. Part this off. Okay. Here's the second one. I feel like this is not getting wet enough. So, um, this is my third time using this solve. You're not supposed, I think, depending on your porosity, that's how you use it. They have like the porosity test on the back of the bottle. If your hair is this type of porosity, you need to use it like every other wash day. If it's this porosity, you use it um, every wash day or once a month, things like that. So you just kind of have to test it on your own. And I think you guys remember how it looks. It comes out, looks just like that. You know, it's a little runny, but see, it's kind of thick. And then you just put it on your hair. That's it. You literally just put it on your hair. And it doesn't get hard or anything like that, you know, while you're leaving it on there. But it just, I don't know what it does, but it does something and we love it. We are absolutely here for it. Come up your pants, take out the trash, get in your cash like I'm fast, like I'm girl, you want to act like it is. Keep really cold on everything on my bracelet, phone don't ever ring. And another one he don't know about. Wish we could switch up the roles. And I could be that. Tell you I love you, but when you call, I never get back. Would you ask them questions like me? Like where you be as I'm out four in the morning. On the corner rolling, doing my own thing. Had a thing on the side, made you cry. Look at the rules change up on what they still.
And that's it. And then we're just going to let this sit. I'm going to take the clips out now because when I have this in, I like to let it just all hang together. And I just put the shower cap on. I'm still going to deep condition, but, you know, this is just how this treatment is supposed to go. Girl, we getting some. <laughs> Look at this length. Ah. Look at this. Who could do a ponytail? Okay. Who could do a ponytail? Love that for me. Oh. It's starting to dry in my hair already. Not the hair drying, but it's starting to really like, you know, like go into the hair, I can tell, because it's just not as prominent as it was before. All right. So we just leave this alone now. All right. I see them arms trying to pop through. Little, I got a little something, a little bit, you know, been working out. But I've always been somebody who likes to lift weights at the gym. Even when I was in high school, I was the only girl in a weight training class. Everybody else, you know, it was all boys. I just, I gravitated towards that. I wasn't into like doing home ec. I mean, it's okay, but I don't know. I just like being in weight class and doing all the weights at the boys. Class. I think because my mentality is that anything a boy can do, I can do better. Or almost better, you know. So, I just like that. Because people be trying to play us, girls. Like, you know, we can't do nothing. And that's what we're not doing over here. So, if you know, you know. And this is it. So, I'm just going to sit like this. I'm probably, because I don't have anything to do right now. I'm off today. So, um, I'm probably just watch some YouTube, watch some Netflix maybe. Get a show in. And then I'll come back when I'm about to deep condition my hair because I have a new little gadget device thing that I want to show you guys that I'm using for deep conditioning now. Okay, guys, so we're back. We're clean. Hair is deep conditioned. That is what is in my head right now. And this is the deep conditioning cap that I'm using. And now that I think about it, I may have already showed it. So if I did, I apologize. But for the ones who have not seen it, this is what it looks like. Instead of using the kind that goes in the microwave, um, I got this. You sit it on, it has control settings. It has high and low, so it's only two. From the reviews that I read, they said that high was too hot for them, but I had it on high and I don't know, it was okay for me. It didn't burn me or anything like that. Um, the cord is, you know, it's a decent length, but from where it is to where I plug it from my couch, I have to use an extension cord so that it can reach, so I can just kind of like sit comfortably. But this is what it looks like. The inside is that kind of material. And then you can unzip it. I guess it's just so if you wanna like take it all the way off to clean it or whatever, I don't know. So, you just put that on, deep condition, good to go. I thought I had more uh, plastic bags, so we're just gonna use like the plastic caps, but we're just gonna use a regular plastic bag to put on it because I don't have any more. I'm taking the clips out only because this cap doesn't give that much give. If you look at it, like it doesn't stretch or anything like that, so I want it to fit, you know, over my head as much as possible because that is the purpose of it. So I take the clips out and then I just kind of, Put all of my hair on top of my head into one i do like that and then i'll just use one clip okay and that should be that usually is, is okay so all of it is up so i can get this right because i have a horrible time with bags but we're gonna try okay hold it down and because i can never tie it in the back i'm gonna use another clip to just hold the bag in place and that usually just works for me. When I do it, it's off my forehead, ears out. All right, and that's it. It serves the same purpose. Plastic cap is a plastic cap is a plastic cap. If you don't have the kind that they sell in the beauty supply store, then you can certainly use one of these and everything will come out just the same. All right. Oh, and it has these little drawstrings so that you can just make it tighter. But I tried it and it, to me, it don't make it much tighter than how it is normally. So it is what it is. This is how it goes. And then you just sit it on just like that. So it looks a little weird, I know. But watch, I'm gonna show you what I mean with the whole tightening thing. So this is how it's supposed to look when it's tightened. And you see, it still has a little bit of gift, but don't worry, you put on the hot setting, yeah, when you take it off, you're gonna feel the warmth. It's still gonna penetrate, penetrate. It's still gonna do what it needs to do. It's fine. Um, and that's that. So I'm gonna just sit, I'm gonna chill. I got my smoothie here. Um, and I'm gonna finish watching this new series that I started. It's called Dirty John on Netflix. I highly advise you check it out. And um, and that's it. Okay, so we're all deep conditioned. And crunch time. All right, so this is what the hair looks like, right? 
nice and light and airy. She smells good. I have on a little bit of leave-in conditioner. Normally, I use the pomegranate and honey for my L, but I'm going to use this one, the Hawaiian ginger, because it's more moisturizing. Like I said, I've been struggling with a little bit of dryness recently, so we want to make sure we add um, as much moisture in, in each step as we can. This one is definitely thicker than the pomegranate one. That's why I, I wasn't using it before, um, but I feel like I need it now, so... All right, for the back, I'm gonna do regular wash and go. And then I think I wanna do twist on my hair again. I don't know if I'm gonna do the whole head because listen, I struggled with it the last time. It came out real cute, it did. But I don't think I have the patience nor the arm strength because my arms are too sore right now. So we're just gonna do twist probably on the side. I think I'm gonna just come up this way and then we're gonna have everything else, you know, just, you'll see when I'm done, you'll see, you'll see. All right, so I'm going to do what I always do, leave-in conditioner, and then I'm going to apply the gel. We're going to shingle. Good to go. I'm going to speed through this. Y'all have already seen it. Nothing's changed. And uh, I'll meet back up with you. the trash get in your cash like i'm fast like a girl you wanna act like a bitch just keep really clothes on everything on my bracelet phone don't ever breathe and another one he don't know about wish we could switch up the roles and i could be that tell you i love you but when you call i never get back would you ask them questions like me like where you be as i'm out Ta-da! Who's done? Don't we love camera tricks of YouTube? Okay, so now we get to work on a twist. Um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be difficult for me, but I'm gonna do it. I'm only gonna try to do well, this section is small, so maybe only three. Um, I don't think it'll look good going back this way, so I'm gonna try my best to have them going upwards. But like I said, I'm not a professional. I don't know how to. First of all, I don't even know how to flat twist. So what I do is I do the roll method. And if you are like me and you don't know how to flat twist, you know exactly what I'm talking about when I say the roll method. Um, so let's see. The easiest way would be to part it. Wait, I don't know which way I part it from. Okay, let's think. If we're going up this way, so let's part. And they don't have to be, you know, I'm not trying to make them super skinny and super. Oh, I didn't even tell you, I did a change of scenery. I came in here because the lighting is better. The sun is starting to like kind of shine on this side of my house. So it's just, it's easier for me to see my hair versus in the front of my house. It's getting darker. All right. So um, the one thing I do recommend is if you're like me and you don't really know how to twist, whatever way you want your twist to go, that's the way you need to make your part. I mean, it sounds like it should just be kind of common sense because it's the same thing when you're doing cornrows, but some people just may not know that. They may think that, you know, you just start freehanding it. But for me, it's easier if I just part in the direction that I want the twist to go because then it's kind of like they don't have no other choice but to go that way. So I think that's good enough for me. Okay, we're gonna hold that and then we're just gonna put the rest of this back. Okay. All right, now comes the hard part. So I'm gonna put a little gel on it and I'll fix up the edges, you know, later on. But so we're trying to just go upwards just like that. That's really what we're trying to do. Sounds so simple. It sounds so simple, but for me, it's not. Like the last time I did this, I did the whole front crown of my head and I was crying. I was just, I was over it. I was too over it. Okay, let me get my rubber bands ready so that I can start twisting. Actually, I think I might need to put some edge control just on the front part of it because I remember the last time I did it with just a gel, uh, it didn't hold it. It didn't hold it right. So a little bit just to kind of help with the gripping so that when you, you, um, you know, twist it upwards or whichever way you want to twist it, 
It'll have that sleek look to it. Why does my camera look like that? Hold on, you guys. Better. Okay. So, what am I missing? Let's use the edge brush. Kind of like brush the stuff. And we're going to put a little more. See, I tell you this is a process. I could speed this up so you guys, you know, to save you guys from all of this. But I want you to see, you know, I want you to see the real. I want you to see how, how, it, how it actually goes. All right. So there's one section here. And we're going to just start twisting. Grab it as tight as you possibly can. I really don't like it. Nope. See, I have to figure out which way I'm supposed to turn. So I think it's this way. But I, I'm, I can't do it. All right, I'm instantly regretting trying to do this. But even if it's not a perfect roll, I don't care. Let me just do this in the mirror and then I'll come back and I'll show it to you guys. So just hold on a second. All right, change of plans. <laughs> I can't do it up. I tried, it took me like a good five, six, seven, whatever minutes. I can't do it going upwards. I need to practice that a little bit more. So I'm just gonna do them going this way. If they happen to curve, they happen to curve. Maybe I'll curve the part a little bit just to kind of give a little a little zhuzh to it but i'm getting really really frustrated and so i want to stop we're gonna just do it this way okay so all right so let's see if i can do this y'all i'm all in your face i'm sorry so this is all i do i just twist and i roll it and i know it's not quite the same as a flat twist but it's doing what i needed to do for me and that's it and then it's going to be up like that and then i just secure it with two rubber bands to hold it in place this is definitely on my bucket list to learn how to corn roll and to learn how to flat twist the correct way is on my bucket list but who's to say that that's the correct way i feel like it's whatever way works for you right whatever way you could do it my hands are so slippery okay and then when you have all the pieces done you just do you know the washing on the bottom that's it just leave the curls hanging all right so the same as the other one I'm going to twist it upwards, or roll it upwards, rather. And just kind of keep going until you get to the back. And then when you get to the back, you just twist, regular twist. I don't know how many times I'm wrapping this around, like I always say, but I just do it until it feels tight enough to wear. It won't slip and um, it gives me the hold that I'm looking for. And it's like semi dry and that's okay for me. In order to do these, I need them to be a little bit on, you know, like on the dry side more than on the wet side. It just makes it easier for me to manipulate it. Okay. And that's it. That's all she wrote. So we let this dry. But this is the gist of it. This is how it looks. I mean, you can't even, because of the curves, you can't even see that one. So I really did that for no reason. But you can tell I have something going over here. On the side, this is how it looks. Let me turn around so y'all can see the back. Hopefully it looks good. I haven't even seen the back, so don't talk about me if it looks crappy. But I think we did an okay job. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was not really a tutorial because I don't know what I'm doing. I just felt like doing a little zhush in the front and that's it. But I still hope you enjoyed the video nonetheless. Um, you know, if you really like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. It's free and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.